My name is Wesley Donahue, and I am the CEO of Push Digital. We are a political advocacy and corporate brand reputation digital marketing agency out of Charleston, South Carolina. Today, we are talking about how the internet and technology has changed who we are as a species. So most of us think of technology and the internet as a tool used to reach people for marketing purposes. We tend to think of it as something very similar to TV, radio, mail, and billboards. It is, however, something very, very different. I argue that you can use it for marketing, but what you have to realize is that it has become much more than just a tool. In fact, it has become the next step in human evolution. Until you understand how it has changed us as a species, you will not be able to use it effectively in your marketing. In a recent podcast interview, Elon Musk was asked, at what point do humans become cyborgs? Musk responded that we are already cyborgs and we don't even realize it. We are cyborgs because we have these devices connected to us at all times. If they're not in our pockets, they're in our hands. The only thing that will change in the future is the speed at which that data gets from the device to your brain. Thus, as the cyborgs in Star Trek say, resistance is futile. We are heading in that direction and there's no turning back. You already know that digital is changing a lot of industries around the world, including the transportation industry, the hotel industry, and the entertainment industry. Donald Trump was elected president because of the internet, and every day he is disrupting the media industry with his Twitter account. He's bypassing the media and going straight to us. Digital is also changing the way laws are made. This is the South Carolina State House, and here at PUSH, we flooded that building with emails and social messages, and we've passed huge laws, including a $600 million gas tax increase to fix the state's crumbling roads. It was all done through digital efforts. But it's not just industries the internet is changing, it's changing us. The most obvious fact is the way it's changing us socially. When these social networks first arrived on the scene, they were supplemental to our normal social engagements. Now these networks have become the primary way we interact with our friends and family, and real life engagement has become secondary. Social media completely has our attention, so much so that we don't pay attention to what's directly in front of us. We all know these scenes. I love this picture. This is James Bond Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. But as you can see, these couples don't really seem to care very much how beautiful it is. They're much more interested in getting that perfect Instagram photo. This is how we all eat dinner. This is how our families watch TV. This is how we drive a car. Like You don't want to admit it, but we all do it. Taking the next step it's changing the one thing that makes us fundamentally human, the way we meet people to date, hook up, and even produce more humans with. When I was younger, I actually had to put in effort to get a girl's number and to hook up with chicks. Now all you have to do is swipe with your thumb. It's even changing the way we interact with ourselves. People are literally going to plastic surgeons asking to be made to look the way they do in their Snapchat and Instagram filters. They think that's the way they're supposed to look. So why is all this happening and what does it mean for you? It's happening because you now have all these devices in your pocket. Your camera, video camera, phone, alarm clock, light, music, games, calculator, compass, notepad, watch, and so much more. I hang pictures on my walls by using the level on my phone. Most importantly, your ability to access all the content ever created in the history of the world and the ability to connect with anyone around the world at a moment's notice. And what that means is that we know every single thing about you. All the scary stories you hear about privacy, pretty true. Your privacy is gone. There is no going back. You accepted that the moment you put all these devices in your pocket. Complaining is like standing butt naked in front of a window and being angry that everyone can see you. While that might be scary for the individual, it's very good for marketers. We no longer have to just target cities. We no longer have to target just large groups of people. We no longer even just have to target homes. Now we can target the specific individual with content 
they care about. And that's the lesson you need to learn from all this. Because technology and the internet has changed the way we behave as a species, and because all of those actions are being tracked, we can now target individuals with the messages that will get their attention and with the issues they care most about. So these aren't ads that we created at Push. These are ads that were actually served up to me, and I screenshot. I am an endurance junkie. Some people call us weekend warriors. Basically, my hobby is trying to put my body through as much pain as I possibly can. I started noticing last year that I was getting ads asking me if I can run a seven-minute mile. That's about the pace I train at for short races. But as soon as I started training for marathons during the fall, I started running slower because you have to run slower to run a lot further. And I started getting ads about me running an eight-minute mile. Then, as soon as I started training for my Ironman, which is a very long race, a two-and-a-half-mile swim, 112-mile bike ride, and a full marathon run, I started running even slower, and I started getting ads asking me if I could run a nine-minute mile. What I realized is that my watch was tracking my actions, feeding that information to my fitness app, who in turn sold my information to a data broker, who then sent that information to the marketing agency that runs ads for this company, Health IQ. Now that is absolutely brilliant marketing. They used my real-time data to send ads to me that would cut through the clutter and grab my attention. This is exactly how you should be using the internet for your marketing. This is what we do at Push Digital. So I was the chief digital strategist for Marco Rubio for president. Push handled all the digital operations for his U.S. Senate race also. As you know, in Florida, there is a large Hispanic population, but not all Hispanic people are the same. Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Mexican Hispanics all have different cultures. They eat different foods. They dress differently. They use different slang. So it was very important that we targeted the individual Hispanic person with content that wasn't just in Spanish, but was designed specifically for them also in the language that they spoke. Here's some additional ads that were targeted to specific individuals. The SeaWorld ad was specifically to millennials. The other SeaWorld ad was to moms with kids under 12 years old. The Farm Bureau ad was to farmers in rural areas of South Carolina. The Rhodes ad was to moms with kids under 5. The Cindy Hyde Smith ad was specifically to gun owners in specific counties in Mississippi. And the Tommy Battle ad was to moms with kids under the age of 3. Here are some ads we ran for a huge victory in South Carolina to fix roads and bridges. Here are ads that were specifically to golfers, moms with children under five, and even an ad to coffee drinkers. What you need to realize in the future is that this won't be limited to just the phone. TV is the next platform that will be targeted to individuals just like the mobile devices are today. In fact, TVs are becoming nothing but large phones. The same data being used and tracked on your phone will be transferred over to the TV medium and you'll begin receiving ads designed specifically to you instead of ads you see now which are generally targeted either to a channel or to a region. And as you know, our homes and our bodies are just becoming even more connected. Our door locks, our thermostat, our watches, and home audio devices like Google Home and Alexa. Eventually, every single action you take, even changing your home's temperature, will be tracked and sold to a data company. And at some point, we will even get ads on those devices. So this is a scene from the movie Minority Report starring Tom Cruise, which came out over 15 years ago. It does an amazing job at predicting the future. This is what we're seeing happening. This isn't far off. This isn't science fiction. This is coming. You will literally be walking by your refrigerator or walking by a sign that delivers an ad specifically to you. We are already pretty close to being there. So in summary, to understand how to use digital, you must understand how it's changing who we are as humans. Focus on data so that you can build messaging that will grab the attention of the individual person and understand that the future is connected and these trends will only grow as more devices track our activity and those devices start serving up ads. Thank you.